Hi guys, it's Clint and Shell. Hi. Uh, today we're both kind of Shell's kind of not feeling very good, and I've been wanting to wood burn. I know I showed this. Uh, this is a piece of quarter inch plywood. I just got it at Home Depot, and I got my new tip. I actually tried it out on the back of this one. And that's what I was able to do, so I'm really excited about it. I think it's really going to be nice to do my curves and stuff. My outlines is definitely got a feeling it's probably going to be my favorite pen. Uh, nice thing is it's a removable piece. This comes out. It's a lot different than this one. Uh, I have three of this. This is a, what is it? a Burn Master from Eagle Wood burner by master carver and it's a lot thicker so I was always having a hard time with the uh, um, doing my turns and stuff and this one I think I'm just gonna love it because I'm able to do stuff with it that I wasn't able to huh Tell them about the oh yeah I have my sucker on I suck her because of the smoke. It's actually for my lathe when I sand and stuff. Um, but yeah, it kind of gets the smoke out of here. Both Shell and I, it really bothers us both. Um, so I got it going. That's what that humming is. It's an actual dust collector and it's out in the porch. But I just ran a hose over to in the living room. So. Uh, we're gonna water well uh, we're gonna do color uh, she's gonna color the, the squirrel's tail uh, I'm just gonna do the outlines uh, she's much better she's an artist I'm not so she's gonna I'm gonna have her do it um, she's be a lot better than I am so let me turn my thing on it's a variable uh, temperature uh, wood burner, pyrographer burner. Uh, I love it. I've had it for several years, but I just never really got to use it until recently. So, um, one thing I like about this, rather than a solid tip, uh, it, especially with caps, it heats up instantaneously and it cools down within a couple seconds. So, it's just so much nicer, and I don't worry so much about the cats using it. So. But let's see what we can do. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, Bubby. Bubby is going to come make an appearance there, but we can't have it. And if you guys haven't seen it, I made me a turntable to help me do my curves. And uh, I got a Lazy Susan attachment under it. And it's nice. So it does help. And I got my box that kind of... Um, has a little hood to it so I made it to where it would go underneath the box and everything I really thought it out but so let me try so boy that's nice I like that I can't but I'm kind of excited to see shell see how shell is able to color it one thing I'll uh, about this that's different than the uh, is the length of your tip and I have a was having a hard time putting my controlling my pen with my I couldn't put my pinky down to kind of stabilize my uh, movement so I still shake a lot. And I've got it put down almost all the way to low, but let me move it just this way, just a little bit. When I, this is out of, I'll have to give you the name of the book, but I'm not selling it this is just for us it's a paper cutout book I'll 
everyone's having an awesome day. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be in the 90s today, and then tomorrow it starts going down, and then it's going to get into the, like, 80 degrees uh, almost all week. Actually, it's going to be in the 80s, I think, all week. We may have a 70-degree day or something here and there. Supposed to start getting some moisture coming coming our way uh my weather channel app says monday is when it's supposed to start dang it i can't huh no i mean it's a real low percentage tomorrow still shaking quite a bit like i said i shake a lot so I have to go slower so I'm going to turn down the heat some more kind of was out of there camera a little bit one thing about this I can't it's a Cohen I think or something I'll have to look um, you have different size of the insulating material I think that one's rubber and then they have different sizes of the cork and stuff but this is the one that came on it so Yeah, it's able to turn it. So, this can take a little practice. Like I said, I haven't really done anything for quite a while. So, and I'm using my sticky pyro paper, especially with all the the intricate uh, designs in it. So, I thought it would be the best choice to use. So, I have regular pyro paper and and uh, sticky pyro paper. So. Some things uh, I'm doing in two different pieces. Uh, so it's kind of learning with me because I uh, have to get to know my new tip. And I know our friend, one of our YouTube family members, Aline, she started getting into wood burning also from watching the videos. Um, she hasn't really commented for a while. She's a um, sweet lady. But fortunately, she's had some stuff happen. So, but she hope she knows she's loved. <laughs> you're looking forward to the rain been so dry here that's the bad thing yes. although we do have more irrigation than I thought we were going to have this year which is really surprises me I didn't think there would really irrigation no irrigation Sorry, I ain't got my teeth in, so. Uh, yeah, I thought maybe we'd, they'd only have enough irrigation for one one cutting of the hay, but it appears that we're going to have more than that, so that's just a blessing, because yeah, most uh, farmers only got one cutting, one cutting of hay last year, so. 
when that's your livelihood, that really hurts your pocketbook and everything else. So, thank God that we had a little bit more irrigation for them. So. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to do this with the other pin. There's no way I could have done it. I haven't finished my seam ripper, but I will um, get it done and show it to you. Shell's going to do the video on the coloring, but you know, it's not going to be today. But I figure when she colors it, I'll go ahead and have her show the seam ripper. So I have one more seam ripper. Kind of got a little out of my line there, but I'm okay with that. Um, so I can make one, one more. You know, it's not bad. I mean, still a little bit, but I'm able to control a lot more. And the more I use it, the better I'll get. But definitely can uh, uh, tell the difference between the two. figured out Lucy's little biting when she wants to bite me. That's her way of um, getting my attention, saying hi, because she does it a lot, like if I'm just come home or if I'm gone or, you know, we lock our bedroom door and if I go out, she uh, will do it. So I think if she's just excited, she gets so excited. She talks and she stretches up and it's just adorable. You know, I'm really, for my first time with it, I think it's working out pretty good. Not perfect, but I'm okay with that. Such a stinker, I tell you. Hi, honey. Bye, honey. She's reached up and touched me. She's so funny. Boy, she just... I had to sat in my rocker for a little bit, and there she was, laying in my lap. And she lays in my lap a lot. And I feel bad, because partner is... He's my lap buddy and he always wants to be in my lap and she kind of they kind of fight for it <laughs> kind of makes me a little sad but pod well I don't need your help little Lucy girl turtle she keeps touching up my, touching my butt <laughs> now I she doesn't mean she's not mean when she bites I mean like Shell said, you know, kind of her, she kind of thinks me of as her, as her mama, so she's always trying to, that's because that's how kittens are, and then mama usually pops them a few times and they, but I would bite her, but I ain't got no teeth, can't bite her back, huh, hun? Right. Hun? Not too bad, I mean. I have, um, with the Dodge centers, I actually have a shading tip that I'll use for the circles that would be easier. Not too bad. I'm kind of, it's 
excited about it, you know. Um, I am going to see, get, call them, because they have a replacement um, uh, cord, and I think it's actually a thinner cord than the one I have now, and I think it would help me twist. Wow. You know, that ain't too bad. I'm pretty excited about it. It's working pretty good. Like I said, you know, the more I do it, the better I'll get at it. The more I get used to using it. Whoops. Now, I kind of went out of line there, but that's okay. Dora hasn't been here this morning, but we did see one one baby yesterday with Dora, but I um, didn't didn't see the other one. But that doesn't mean anything. I mean, they hide so well. But boy, she so funny. Her legs are getting the baby's legs are getting so tall, so long. She's not very big, but boy, she's got the longest legs. Just, it's been such a blessing because we have never had a fawn here. And we've had deer, you know, but for a long time, but we've never had a fawn actually here. And that has been really awesome to for her to bring her babies here and we don't feed them you really shouldn't feed wildlife especially deer and stuff like that because you can do more harm than good with them and we're animal lovers and we hate to see anything happen to them but we also know that That's how Mother Nature is, and some days come, but so, yeah, see, I think I'd be doing a little bit better if I would break up my movements a little bit. Yeah, there's no way I could have done this with my other pen. You know what, hon? There's just absolutely no way. And this is a micro tip. I get my tips from, uh, well, I get all my wood burning supplies from Mountain Carvers. They're out at Estes Park, Colorado. And, um,. So this is a micro tip. They have a few different micro tip shapes. But my problem has been the line lining. Uh, I usually can uh, shadow pretty well, do the sh shading with a regular with my regular pen, but the lines is the part I've been having so much trouble with. And, um, so this is the first, first tip I got for the pen, so. They also have fixed ones like this. I have to look up what the name of the wood burner is. That's one thing I like a lot about the pyrography. Uh, burners, wood burners are, a lot of them have in interchangeable pins or you can adapt them to them and that makes it a lot easier. So I kind of one of the advantages to having a replacement tip. As 
that versatility of them, you know. But yeah, I think they have, I'm going to, I need to get with them and just see about the replaceable cord to see if it's a little bit thinner. I think it, if it was, it'd probably be a little bit easier to turn, less cumbersome. Like I said, the part I've been having a hard time with mainly is the being so steady, I, I have a tendency to shake, so. Yeah, with the other pin, I wouldn't have this much done, that's for sure. There is a really uh, fascinating gal, she does wood burning called Pyography Every Day on YouTube. And I've learned a lot from her watching her videos. Uh, my goal is with this one is, I'm gonna do the tail this way, but the squirrel, I'm gonna try to make it, do the fur and everything for it, to so con combine the, you know the I don't know to to something more realistic. I think it's going to be kind of fun to try. So that's kind of what my goal is with this project. Yeah, I think a little thinner wire would be uh, a little bit easier, more, you know, easier to control than a thicker, thicker cable, so. Not too worried about if I go out of the lines because she'll be able to tie it all in. She, you know, she knows her values, and I don't know any of that. Like I said, I'm not an artist like that at all. So she'll definitely be the one to make it beautiful, so. I'm really surprised how hot this pin, uh, it's not hot to the touch, but normally the other pins have to be up a little bit more, and this one's almost at the very lowest setting of the um, temperature, but also I'm, uh, you know, I'm doing it on plywood, and I never used plywood, so I'm going to go ahead and try to start doing it. Not going to be my last project for you guys for wood. I just love doing wood burning and it's fun to just show you guys and take you on my journey to learn. I do wish the print was a little bit darker. I printed this on help Shell's printer and it was dark in the book but when I uh, copied it, it didn't print very uh, dark, so.
here's the curve. Whoops. So I know it's not gonna be not too bad. I was able to Everyone's having a wonderful Saturday. Thank God, we don't have to work. I do have one of my regular customers call me. For some reason, my voicemail, my stupid phone has not been working. So I didn't realize he had left me a message until last night. So I'm gonna try not to have to work until later in the week. So, but he is one of our customers and. I want to make sure he's taken care of, of course, but hopefully I can do it Tuesday. I was kind of hoping for a four-day weekend. And car, yeah, we're going to finally get our car fixed, which is really exciting for us. Um, I hope it is for you, too, because... Uh, the reason we haven't been going up to the mountains is because the car. My forerunner, you know, the the water pump is out of it, and it's you got to do the water pump and the timing belt and everything on it at the same time, and that's going to be well over a thousand, and I really uh, don't want to pay that much. So I'm gonna, Chell and I are gonna fix it ourselves, but right now it's more important to have our uh, car going because. And we've had this car, it used to be Shell's mom's, and we took over. We've had it since 06, and figured it's probably got over 700,000 miles on it, but it's had four engines. But um, I had a, one of the steering component has been really bad, and I went in to get the tires rotated, and I said, he, he showed it to me, I said, well, is it going to kill me? He said, no, but it's going to wear out your tires really quick, and it did, but... Uh, so I finally was able to get it take gonna get it taken in. I had the went ahead and put the tires on it because I had a flat and Tuesday we're gonna so uh, once we get it fixed we'll be able to go back up to the mountains. As we've had quite a bit of rain in the mountains, not down here. So that means probably there's gonna be mushrooms which Oh, we love, and plus it's nice and cool. Hey, honey, I'm gonna need the charger, yeah. Sorry, I just looked at it. And we really haven't hardly went to the mountains. For quite a while, we used to go every week, two times a week. We had a boss that we couldn't stand. <laughs> Years, ago. Years ago, back in 08, 08 and 09. And I couldn't, oh, yeah, that's an understatement. He was a POS. But, and we got into mushroom hunting on the days we went to Northwood. So we wouldn't have to screw around with having to listen to him. I don't need that part. You don't need that part. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry guys. Yeah, she was really hurt. But anyhow, so we really got into uh, mushroom hunting when we worked for him. Edible yeah, edible mushrooms and photography. And that was such a fun time of our life. So we'd go usually twice a week because that's whenever we would go to Norwood, we'd always drive back down the dirt road and go out and mushrooms and spend some time away from the work and stuff so that was our favorite so we're kind of we miss going but since we don't locate for the phone anymore we haven't for like almost eight years that 
we just don't go up like we used to because it, they have raspberry bushes everywhere and well that's what yeah we just don't work in that area that we had to so we're just not up on the mountain as much I think we took you guys once last year, but I can't remember. So hopefully, get to find some more, some good mushrooms. We really, well, there's only three, four kinds we get. There's more edibles than that, but the the ones we get, there's the only look like it's not poisonous. Um, it will make you sick, but it's not like poisonous, so. Then that's the chanterelles we get. What's the look like? Lobster? Jack lantern is what it's called. But they're really easy to identify, but the chanterelles are just incredible mushrooms. The flavor is, oh. They're, de they're considered, you know, they are definite choice. Uh, then we get the shaggy manes. What it says, call them bites of heaven. Yeah, little crispy bites of heaven. Little crispy bites of heaven. Uh, yeah, those haven't really come up. You may find one, and you know they're really amazing. You know they'll actually sprout up in the dirt roads and everything. But when you pick them, they are so delicate. That they're just so fragile. It's, it amazes me how something can pop up to the dirt road that's compact and yet be so delicate. But the flavor of those are you you fry them, you batter them, and fry them, and oh lord, they're so good. Chanterelles you usually you fry in butter and uh, cook them in saute them, you know, and. Uh, no, they're not good fried, but boy, they are sure good sauteed. And that's what we do with them anyway, is to preserve them, we just saute them. And then we uh, freeze them. So that makes life nice, that way you have it. And then there's, there's puff balls. There's several different kinds. There's gem studded and puff balls. There's the giant puff balls, which are like super huge, like the size of a soccer ball, <laughs> even bigger. And those are, they taste like mushrooms you'd get in a store, but they're um, spongy. And I'm not a big fan. I love the flavor of them, but I don't like the texture of it. But if you chop them up, and then saute them and freeze them. They're really good in like stew or soups and even make your own uh, cream and mushroom soup with them because you get that flavor and you don't really get the textures and that's nice, you know. But I really, you know, I was raised in the mountains and the mountains are my special place. They help ground me and keep me I always feel so much closer when I'm up there to God. It's so fun having Shell, you know, to experience all of it with. So. You know how Shell and I, we pretty much together 24-7. Unless I have to work and she can't go, so. Lucy. Well, she sure gets yelling at mama when it's 
when she's when she's getting tree time boy she yells at her like you wouldn't believe that little body of hers she can she's got the loudest real voice and she'll want you to follow her and if she looks back to see if you're following her if you're not she comes back it's How funny it is hilarious she, she's such a turd Did she really? Shell said she jumped her yesterday, scared her yesterday, and she jumped all fours and then turned around and took off. She didn't take off, she just turned around. Oh, she just turned around. She's fun. All fours off the ground at one time. Yeah, you don't scare us. She'll scare, but yeah, you have to really work at it sometimes. But she is just an absolute doll. You're annoying and you're still a doll. <laughs> Got her, didn't I, guys? Yeah, so it's going to be nice finally to have some cooler. I mean, this has been really a... You know, we talk about how hot and stuff. But it's actually been a really cool summer compared to, like, last year. And the last probably five or six years has just been got awful hot and this year really hasn't you know even with this pen I know I bounced back and forth what I'm talking about um, they even have uh, half moon tips for it so like your curves and stuff they have a half moon tip that you can just do it One day this week we had I think I had five emergencies that day yeah, yeah. I couldn't believe it yeah she was home I couldn't believe it and two of them were cut fiber one was a cut phone line another one was a cut fiber that wasn't located So I had to tell that guy like seven oh. times that it wasn't my fiber. Kept pestering me. I was beginning to get a little bit irritated. They said it's not their fiber. It's got to be yours. No, it ain't my fiber. And it's like, geez, shut up and listen to what I'm telling you. But I did get to see some of my friends I haven't, like from Atmos Energy, and I don't get to see very much anymore now that we don't locate phone or anything. I just don't see the people I used to. So I haven't heard from that irrigation company. So I don't know. I'm I'm at, at kind of at the point now where I think I'm kind of I'm get. They need it make up their mind decide what they're going to do because too much longer I'm just going to tell them no and and of course my friend that called me about it to begin with he's thinking about getting out of that um, uh, the, the irrigation and I reason why we were going to do it was just because of him as a kind of a favor to kind of uh, so, I mean, it's not like a terrible loss or anything if we don't do it. Some things like that are just more trouble to do than they're worth. So, I don't know. 
needs to quit him on around and let us know what he wants to do. So I go see the bone doctor first. So I'm kind of excited about that. Get that taken care of. Find out what to do. Hopefully he can get my bones strong enough to run. Dang it. Hun, call him. Uh, so I can have the surgery. <laughs> now I'm pretty certain it was the methotrexate that caused a lot of these issues. And because I did find out it's a chemo drug, a low level chemo drug. And so I'm hoping it didn't damage my system to where it's going to be harder for it to work. But I haven't been on it for years, so hopefully but it's in God's hands so read about it well you should see this huh it is so nice Can you believe that? That looks really nice. I like it. There's a few spots here and there, but well, it's I'm just getting it's not, no, and I'm getting better at each one I do because yeah. Well, yeah, you're getting a practice. No, sis bought one like the my red handle one, but I don't know if she's doing much with it or. Yeah, that is so much easier to control. Went out and checked the garden. Uh, looks like we have a few more um, squashes. Still no pumpkins yet. We have uh, spaghetti squash, but we haven't had any uh, red warty things yet. I'm hoping that it'll be come up pretty soon, but we'll see. But red warty things we use and make pies as pumpkin puree. And you can't can puree because it's too thick, but you can actually cut your pumpkins, your squash into squares. And then you can can them that way, can them as squares, and then when you get ready to use it, just uh, puree it. So we're going to try to do that. We're going to try to can whatever we uh, can instead of freezing it. That way we don't have to worry about it. Uh, electricity or something going out and losing all our food. We've had that happen, well, when our freezer went out. We lost a lot of stuff that we had prepared. I know we're going to end up doing meat and stuff. We're going to try to do our own spam. Because we want to, and, you know, you know, the thing is with us, we want to know what's in our food, and, um, that's one way of doing it is, is raising it yourself or at least preparing it you know I mean we don't raise pigs so we don't have pork uh, but at least we know partly what's going to be in it so that to us is really important you know we buy organic sugar and we have had people say well it's sugar yeah it is sugar you're right uh, but it's also not processed to what um, 
like white sugar would be, you know, and that way we kind of, it's just not processed as much. I need to work a little bit more on my box over here because the way it's positioned I keep hitting my arm on it and if I did it a little different it might not be in the way as much and the babies are doing really good uh, we don't know, of course, what the two Goldie has yet, whether or not they're male or female. We're hoping females. And I couldn't find the key because I've been locking, since we had those three miss, we've been locking the chickens in at night. Uh, whether or not someone come in and took them or skunk or something got him I don't know and then I went out this morning and I couldn't find the stupid key so I was gonna try to cut it with a bolt but bolt cutter lock cutter but I found the key I actually unscrewed it so I wouldn't have to but I just wasn't strong enough to use the bolt cutter so but they're doing really good at least this way the skunks ain't getting them. I mean, we can see, you know, I mean, I can see how this, it could have been the skunks, you know, that got them, but the part that I don't get is the big girl was out, and how, how would she have gotten out? I mean, there's no way she never gets out unless it's through the door. Because she's too big, the skunks couldn't grab her and, and pull her uh, underneath the shed. It's not possible. There's not that much room, and she's a big, big girl. She's the Amer Arcana that lays the Easter eggs, colors the green eggs, and she's a big, big girl, and I don't know how she got out. That the part that really puzzles me and makes me think someone did take them. But, and I know... Um, she asked me if I did anything with the big chickens and I told her no because we had that big rooster in there and I mean he's okay with me coming in or Michelle but I don't think he'd be okay uh, having someone a stranger come in the chicken coop and mess with his girls and that's probably what you know the little ones could take care of the two ba little banny roosters that can be uh, they one he attacked me a few times and so I just don't know I just don't know what happened uh, it's always better to be safe than sorry I mean I've only got three hens left and those are really hard, were hard hard to find and I just love my bannies so much they're my Dutch bannies and I just it breaks my heart to lose them you know and they're so unique that they're just not common. Like you would find some of the other banny breeds. They're, these just aren't that common, so.
want to say welcome to all our new family members. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch us. It's so humbling to me to think that someone would actually take time out of their day to watch me. It blows me away. Huh? Tired? I don't know on that. It's beeped already once. This says six minutes. Okay. Oh, I'm not. Huh? Okay. I have to clean my tip. It's getting crusty. have a what's the other using the aspen wood but I don't also have aspen wood that's this big normally with my aspen I always have to glue it together so definitely some odd uh, challenging shapes to it Probably could have used two steps. Change my position on it. I'm surprised how fast it's going. I'm usually not able to get it this much done in this short of time, so I know it definitely helps with my. I know it's definitely helping using it. She sure is fun to scare, I tell you. We had a cat named Pard. He was kind of dad and mine's cat, but when dad moved with mom, he, we, we took him here and I was in this kick of scaring, I mean, him were playing and oh, all the other ones, I wasn't leaving him alone, I was being a pain. But anyway, I'm in there peeing, and all of a sudden, I hear this blood curdling meow. And I turn around, and Pard's walking out the door. He scared me half to death. <laughs> Shell knew what he was doing, what he was up to. Oh my God, it was the funniest thing. I would have never believed a cat would do that, but he. Boy, he went, oh my gosh. <laughs> He was a genius cat. He was so intelligent. But he he wasn't happy. He was, you know, he missed dad. He, he actually would slice our screens open to get out. And he ended up getting hit by a car. And, oh, it broke my heart. I just wish dad would have taken him with him to mom's. I don't know, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Well, can't 
change it. I mean, yeah, that was when we first got married. Yeah, he was a neat cat. He looked just like Bitty Bear. Of course, I call Bit Pard because he reminds me so much, and he is my baby. Pard is Bitty Bear is my baby. Yeah, and that's what Dad called me. Honey, you knocked over your boyfriend. No, Very quick, get him before. Get out there. Didn't care. Uh, no, I think it was in the with the angel. Oh, okay. I know, but it's way in there. Gonna start with the cat. Yep, I think you need to. Truthfully. <laughs> I'm kidding guys, I'm not really, but I'm going to start spraying them. Yeah. Okay, you sure would like to, that's for sure. You think about it, you know. That was what I'm we overdued. Oh, I'm so glad it's not. She said she thought it was Sunday. <laughs> I tell ya, that girl's got some sharp teeth too. the baby I tell you she definitely is not lacking on personality you know some cats just don't really have a personality but and then others do all of ours do yeah I'm excited about seeing what Shell can do with this. You know, perhaps I should stop the video here and I'll start a new video and I'll just keep going. So let's do that. Uh, once again, please uh, give the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Uh, and thank you again very, very much to taking time out of your day to watch us. That just means the world to us and it's so humbling. We truly love you guys. You are definitely our family. And we just thank God for each and every one of you guys. So we'll let you go. And we'll talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys. Tutzines. Bye, guys. Tutzines.